Hi guys, welcome back to another first Descendant video. Today we are gonna do something a little bit different from what we normally do. Stay tuned if you want to find out! <laughs> In the first part of this video, we wanted to show you the ultimate weapons we already have. Here you can see the ones we have unlocked so far. And now the question is, we wanted to know in your guys' opinion, which ones of the ones we already have are worth grinding for. So if we don't have it fully maxed out, if it's worth grinding for those parts to fully max out the unique ability, or the ones we don't have are actually worth going for, like investing time in getting every single part five times each and then crafting all of them and putting them together. And also we wanted to know if we have already something that we have unlocked that is not worth it at all, if we should just stop here and not even go for it. A lot of the weapons that you're seeing right here, most of them, a majority of them, we never even went for them. The Thunder Cage we kind of did, but, and we know that's a good gun and it's, it's not hard to get, but the drops are really bad for me. They're a little bit better for you, but they're really bad for me. We specifically went for the smithereens. I know the shotgun's not good, but I wanted to keep leveling shotguns for a, a reactor I had. The Secret Garden, we fully max that out. It's a good gun. Python, awesome. We max that one out. But like all the rest of them, we just had parts from like opening other amorphous materials for different things and we just got those parts so yeah out of the ones we have which ones are worth investing in and out of the ones we don't have which would be worth going for out of the ones we don't have uh, we were thinking about going for are the blue beetle the enduring legacy the wave of light and the piercing light i saw some posts about sharon builds and they were really recommended to use this sniper rifle with her the second part of this video is Falling Hope. We really didn't plan to go for this weapon at the beginning. We got lucky enough that we got some parts just playing the story. It's really easy to get. And after that, we decided to go for all the parts again four more times and fully upgrade the unique ability. We haven't really put an energy activator on it, but we added some catalyst just to make it stronger. We really don't know how good it is or how bad it is, but we just wanted to test it out. The weapon itself feels pretty okay, but it feels like a Freyna gun because it's it's like toxic abilities and whatnot so i don't know i suppose if you had talks on the gun and then you had like being able to activate that element maybe maybe that would work i, I don't really know but being freyna you could just always you know everything's got talks on it so it really feels like it, it's mostly for her i don't know we haven't used it too much like you said we put some catalysts in it but no activator and we maxed it out the unique ability so yeah we're just gonna give it a go with freyna the cool thing about this weapon is that you don't really need to get a bunch of parts, raw materials, blueprints to be able to craft it. They are all in the White Night Gulch, normal difficulty. The first part drops in this patrol mission in the mountain tops area. It's called Borderland of Truth and it have a 20% chance to drop you the polymer. For the fiber, you need to go to the observatory. And this one is a tiny bit more annoying because even if it's a patrol mission, it kind of feels like a mini dungeon. For the nanotubes, you need to go to the so-called shipment base and you need to do the mission called the altar, another patrol. This one is pretty easy as well, like the first one, really fast and easy. And the last part is the blueprint. This one you're going to get it in the hatchery zone in the patrol called Lower Hatchery. And this one is not as bad as the fiber. It's a bit shorter, but it still feels like a mini dungeon sometimes. So now we are going to be testing this weapon. It's fully upgraded. The, not, not the weapon itself, but the unique ability is fully upgraded. We haven't really used a energy activator on it because we don't know how good it is, but we actually put two crystallization catalysts already and the two that already comes with it. This is what we are using. For now, we are pretty happy with this setup if you guys have any suggestions something better with what we have or where we can change let us know but here we are using this with Freyna because it looks like the unique ability might work better with her oh my god did he explode i think did he exploded but that was a gun or did you use something else oh no no that was oh here we go oh they're just uh. too weak <laughs> we are doing this in hard mode but we just it's definitely uh, we hard don't know. Because their is... oh this is a whole it usually is. Yeah, like there's a hold down in hard mode. We barely have done this I, one. I got this side, left side. I... Okay, my Freyna is not as strong as Mr. Freyna. His Freyna is kind of like main... His main character, kind of. I only have an energy activator on mine. And that's it. I haven't even Oh, there. That any. one exploded for sure. But the problem is I need something bigger. Uh, this guy's pretty strong. I think the Python would have finished him, but... Well, our I Python is him, pretty good, though. We have an energy activator on it like, and a bunch awesome. of catalysts. He didn't explode though, I had to like fully finish him, but it's only like a 40% chance I think. 
That's what we are testing, and we want to know if it's even worth it to spend more time on this weapon or not. Oh, that one exploded, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I did. Problem is they're dying in the dogs. I need that guy to come here. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> uh, Wait, you just hit him with this. Oh yeah. Now you can get him. Does I feel like there's enough enemies in here though? Your firearm attack goes up for sure. Oh wait, there's more guys on the right there. Guys there. Oh shit. The problem is the little ones are just too weak. They're just mm -hmm. way too weak. No. Oh, there's a big guy back there. It's a big guy. Oh, oh. Did I hit him? Yes. Oh yeah, you got him for sure. Is he gonna blow up? Hopefully. Oh. Boring. Come here. Not blowing up. Oh my god. That was like a 40% chance, and then it has a six meter spread on it, I think, too. Okay, I think that's it. I think this oh is my god, it's so good. short. Okay. I highly doubt the boss is gonna blow, but. <laughs> he might kill us, though. Well, he might kill me, maybe he might not kill you. Oh, that one blew up. Yeah, my friend is not super Wait, strong. Get, get the cat! Wait till he touches it. Oh, he didn't blow up! Oh, there's a boss oh, already! Just, my bad! Are you <laughs> trying to blow him up right away? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's taking more damage to possibly, right? Yeah, the fireman attack when he's poisoned is like 20%. Oh, no, oh, no, no. no. Yeah, he is. Oh, my God! But we also I have, to I think, the toxic conductor. He might freaking kill me, and I'm jogging. Well, like I said, my friend is not strong. One of the only thing she has is energy activator. I'm trying to get him to walk yeah. through the talks. We fight this guy in the. Yeah, the I know who it is. It's the, this is the MF that always annoys me because everything he shoots drags you down. And you can't really. We, see we him. fight this guy in one of the Voivans missions. Okay. okay, and I'm pretty sure he has balls. Okay. Yes, he does. I'm not seeing too much exploding happening. I wonder if it'll be more obvious if we do like a public event where there's too many enemies or something like that, you know? I don't know, the Python so feels so I good know, and the Secret Garden feels so good that I don't know if the assault rifles gold are worth grinding for, at least for now. Well, I'm going to use my the Python just to break the balls because it's just faster. Oh, you brought the Python. Yeah, I have it as a secondary, just in case. Oh, uh, just in I case see. it got too hard. But I haven't used it until now. So I'm not really cheating. I'm using the Hero Star. Oh, no, you are. Levels. I uh, had the Willy, the Willy with the CP, the Willy Whipper, the Willy Whip, the no, CP Willy. I'm also using the Smithereens. <laughs> what was the name of that guy? The other Sky Rifle? The Silly, the silly, the silly Whipper. Oh, shit. Wait, we're killing these things too slow here. Come on. We had the. Oh my god, we had the rate of fire all maxed out, but it doesn't feel like good enough. I oh my god. I'm Are you shitting me? I'm not happy about this not going very good. Okay, there. there you please. got it, thank you. Yeah, that was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Ow. I don't have any ammo! Man, the gun's so good, look how fast I'm killing him! Oh wait, you killed him without me! <laughs> Wait, are you were using the regular weapon or you were using the python? Oh, you didn't have the python though. No, I, no, I was using her all gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was completely out of ammo. I was going for the robot. You killed it too fast. Okay, I was a little, a little underwhelmed, but I also don't have the, probably the best mods in it, and I don't and have any activator and all kinds of stuff. All the other guns that we're using that we think are good are like. Juice, fully juice. I know, and remember, I didn't put an activator right away in the python. It took me a while to put one in the python because I only have one. Yeah, the difference between having one, an activator... Was, there was a huge... So maybe that's the issue. Maybe we need to actually invest on in putting some stuff in this weapon and just catalyst. But I don't know. It's, I want to know what you guys think. Is it even worth it? Have you guys tried it? Is it amazing when you use it up or not? I like the gun. I think it's kind of cool, but I feel like I'm a little, I'm a little underpowered with it, but... I wish the explosion was a little bit better. I feel like it works on the little guys. 
but if I put Tox down already and one blows up, it doesn't even affect the other ones because they're already dead to the Tox on the ground. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it doesn't really do too much. And then the big guys, I never saw one blow up. So, yeah. I don't know. It's only 40% chance, but it's cool. In conclusion, guys, this weapon is really fun to use. We just don't know if it's worth using an energy activator on it or more catalyst. We wanted to know what you guys think about it. That's what we asked at the beginning of the video. And Mr. Here has something to say about it. Yeah, I think you guys seem to be more knowledgeable about the game for sure. We're just, I mean, we're playing at a, a maybe a little bit above casual pace, just trying to do the best we can to, to do fun stuff in it and things we want to go for. But the, the thing about this gun, it has a pretty low critical hit rate at like 12%. The critical hit damage, I think it's like, I don't know what it is. It's just like average kind of and the weak point damage kind of average. So we didn't really know if it was worth investing in the critical hit rate to, to try to juice that up a little bit or the critical hit damage. Maybe it is. I just didn't know what that low, you know, base is really low. I didn't know if it was worth it or not. Probably we'd really like to get a weak point card in there, but like you said, we just we don't have an energy activator and you know I'm not gonna put one in it unless people think that oh yeah, this is a good gun. You gotta go for this one. So there's definitely modules we would have liked to have used, but we just didn't have the space. So curious. So that was everything for today's video, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think. So in conclusion, guys, this is so in conclusion, guys, this weapon... <laughs> what are you doing? Don't laugh. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been recording all day. My voice is tired, okay? 